Hi, welcome back to this series uh, around Centrify Privilege Service. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, Privilege Session Management or Privilege Session Brokering. Uh, remember, with Centrify Privilege Service, we can have uh, resources, and those resources can be network devices, um, SSH sessions, Unix systems, Linux systems, and Windows servers. So when, when we talk about the context of uh, Privilege Session Management, we should be able to provide all users only with the systems they have access to, right? And, and Centrify does provide role-based access controls, which means that those devices, you can have resource permissions, including having the ability to grant, manage the session, or use the session as well. And this uh, uh, is also related to the account, right? So perhaps you, if you want to have a session that is an assisted login, which means you are able to log in through this SSH or Windows session, without knowing the password, you need to have the rights to log in. Experience is very simple. I actually already have a session open here in, in which I showed you how to, how to get SSO. I'm going to keep it open here. So now we know that we can do Windows sessions. But let's, let's open an additional session here. Uh, this is going to be for a managed account on a CentOS system. And uh, I'm going to do basically, I go to account actions. And notice that I have the root account in here. And I'm going to do an assisted login with root. What that's going to give me is I don't need to know the root account, but I'm going to be able to be placed in an SSH session here um, that I can, I can play in the, place in this window. And if I notice it here, I'm already logged in here as root. <clears throat> Another additional capability in the context of privilege session brokering is the ability to proctor. So for example, if I wanted, if, if I go to the dashboard and I'm an administrator, in this case, I'm going to pretend to be a different person. If I wanted to see exactly what's going on, I could do a watch, right? And I'm going to put the watch window right here on the left. Um, so you can see this is what I'm watching, but this is the original session that I'm watching right here. So I'm going to put it next, next to each other and you'll see, uh, I'm going to do AD info. This is our you know, typical Centrify command, AD info minus T. So you can see that I, I get the ability to see everything that the user is, is doing on this side over here. Why would I need to do that? Perhaps I need to proctor a consultant, or this is a change control that is viewed by many people. But another additional capability is the ability to actually terminate those sessions, right? So if I needed to terminate that session, I could just do a terminate. And what will happen is that this session is going to be ended by the administrator. Again, same thing is available for Windows. I already have a session open. If I needed to proctor that session, I could do the same thing. Um, I could just check out the session here and do a watch, right? So this is very clever here. We, we only send the pixel changes. So first it's going to render the screen over here of what I'm doing over here. And you'll see that even the mouse, mouse movements are being tracked in this session. Same thing, if I needed to terminate the session, I have the ability to do so. All I need to do is terminate, and uh, my session is going to be terminated. Okay. So from a, from a privileged session brokering perspective, remember, you have the ability to uh, view and review, uh, session, initiate sessions, assisted or non-assisted, uh, using uh, the Centrify Privilege Service. Also, you have the ability to do a manual session. For example, if I needed to get access to, for example, to this system right here, a manual session is going to prompt me for my username and password. So in here, I'm going to just provide a, a user that I know. And the user, in this case, must have a, a valid user in that system. And it's, it's you know, like your typical uh, sessions that you would initiate normally with an SSH, in this case, or an RDP. So i um, happy to show you this. Now we're going to talk next about shared account password management. And I'm hoping that this is actually helpful for you.